high pressure gas cylinders have been around for a hundred years and legends of their destructive potential have been around for 99. But could a ruptured tank really burrow through a brick wall? Into the next county. Here we go, shearing the regulator off the tank. Attempt number two in five, four, cross your fingers, three, two, one. Yeah! That's the sound! <laughs> that is a lovely, lovely sound. The valve has sheared clean off, and that's a very good sign. It looks like the cylinder flew straight and true, but did it have enough thrust to crack the wall? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it was the lard that did it. <laughs> At 40 miles per hour, the air tank turned the cinder block to cinders. It even put a fair dent in the wall six feet behind it. It totally. No I mean, it didn't go all the way through, but it uh, it went through this one, and it was going. It's working its way through that one. I, I was ready to. I was ready to see this as not possible. I was totally expecting it not to actually work, because it's one of those apocryphal tales, and everyone we talked to had heard the story, but no one knew anybody that it happened to. You know, this was an optimum situation for this tank. Uh, what this tank did is as good as it gets. My favorite thing is just the perfect roundness of the top of this hole. It also pushed this entire wall back a half an inch. Although the cylinder was deliberately aimed, you couldn't ask for a more convincing result. So let's call this myth totally and spectacularly confirmed. <laughs>